In this video, I would like to clear up any misconceptions about forced couples. A forced couple system is an equivalent load. What I mean by this is if you have a force offset from a point, you can represent this force equivalently if you move it to point B, so we move it from A to B, with a force at B, so the same force that was at A is now at B, but since in the original case force F had a moment about B, and now since force F is at B, there is no moment at B, so that moment must be replaced by a couple. Therefore, this is called a force and couple system. A couple simply refers to two forces that make up a couple. This can be confusing because one can want to call this a force couple since it's a couple caused from forces. But your book refers to this as simply a couple. I will refer to a force and a couple as a force couple or an equivalent load because the force at B with the moment at B is equivalent to the force at A. Therefore, these loads on this system is equivalent. In order to first calculate the moments at A, B, and C, we must write the forces F1 and F2 in terms of their vector components. Now with F1 and F2 in their vector components, we can sum them together to get the force on the system. To take the moments from the loads on the system about point A, we have the moment from the force 2 at B about A and the moment from M1. We find that the moments from the loads on the system about A is 1.07 newton meters in the positive z direction. Similarly, the moments from the loads on the system about B is equal to the moments from the forces 1 at A about B plus M1. We find that the moment from the loads on the system at point B is negative 16 newton meters in the z hat direction. The moments from the loads on the system about point C is equal to the moment from the force 1 about point C plus the moment from force 2 about point C plus the moment 1. We find the moments from the loads on the system at C is equal to negative 19.5 newton meters. In order to replace the loads on the original system with a single force and couple at A, what we do is we take the force on the system, the resultant force on the system, and place it at A. However, to account for the change in moment that this has on the system, we place the moment from the system at A, and that is the equivalent couple. Now I have created an equivalent load, or force and couple at A, which represents all of the loads in the previous system. To prove this, if this is the case, the moment at B from this equivalent force couple should be the same as it was in the previous system. So let's check that. To find the moment from the loads on the system about B, we'll take the moment at A plus the moment generated by the force on the system at A about point B. We find that the moments caused from force system at A plus the moment from the system at A when summed at B is equal to negative 16 newton meters, which is equivalent to the moment we calculated from the original system. Now let's check the moments from this system at C, which equals to the moments from the system at A, again, plus the moments from the force of the system at A about point C. Carrying this calculation out, we see that we have, again, negative 19.5 newton meters Z hat at point C, verifying that the force and couple found at A is equivalent to the loads from the system in the previous slide. You can repeat this exercise by finding an equivalent force and couple at B and an equivalent force and couple at C and calculating the moments at A, B, and C. They should be the same as in the original loading scenario.